Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? <laughs> so, in today's video I am reviewing a book that I have recently read and I have a funny story about this book. I was not gonna read this book. I got this book as a gift from my Secret Santa when we did the Secret Santa thing with my friends in December and when I received it I was like mm, that's not really my cup of tea for a couple of reasons that we'll talk about but then you know I was reading a lot of fiction and then I felt in the mood of a non-fiction it's a non-fiction book and I was like you know maybe I'll pick it up and I just finished it yesterday I gave it a five out of five stars and yes I picked it up seven months later but I did and let me tell you there was a very wise decision because as I told you it was a five stars read. Without any further ado or any more suspense, the book is Born a Crime Stories from South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't want to pick up this book is because I had no clue who this guy was. I can be very picky with my nonfiction. I do like memoirs and I have this specific niche in nonfiction that I love. And just take me out of that and then I'm all like, meh, I'm not sure. And so when I got this one, I was like, I have no clue who this guy is. So why would I read a memoir by him? Um, I did not know what the Daily Show was. I've never watched that. I'm not into this entire entertainment American pop culture thingy. Uh, so I had no clue what that was. And um, this year I decided to read more of African liter literature, whether it be it African authors, stories set in African countries, African tales and folk stories, um, anything. And so this month I saw this one and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a shot. What what was the worst that can happen? If I don't like it, I'll just be in it. But you guys, I ended up loving the book and as I said, it was a 5 out of 5 stars. Let me see if my camera is filming. Oh yes it is! Okay, fun. So, I ended up loving the book. So let me give you a bit of a proper presentation. This is a memoir by Trevor Noah of himself growing up in South Africa. It's divided into three parts and basically it's these um, little anecdotes from his childhood. He tells about everything um, that was happening in South Africa during the apartheid and after the apartheid and the setting of a democratic regime. Um, what I really loved about this book is that the way it's um, the way it's structured is really nice. So before telling an anecdote, he would give a bit of background information on the political uh, situation, the social standards, the um, popular belief, anything that would frame the anecdote he was, he was, he was gonna say and then, then he would tell the anecdote. And you guys, I've learned so many things reading this book about South Africa, more than I've ever learned in any of my classes. I knew the basic things about South Africa but nothing too deep and this book really taught me a lot in my favorite way of learning about things which is through human storytelling. So we get a full-on picture of how it felt like growing up in this segregated um, South Africa during the apartheid where white, colored and black people are very much uh, separated socially, economically, politically, from an education point of view. And the funny part, or the interesting part, is that Trevor Noah is actually born as a colored person who's not quite black, but not quite white either, it's like a middle ground. Uh, but he's born to a black Zoa mother and a white German-Swiss father. So he was born a crime because it was a criminal act for in black women to engage in any sexual activities with a white guy during the upper side. So he was born this weird colored kid and this entire book really explores definitions of race and how hard it was for Trevor Noah growing up in the South Africa to belong into a group because he was not quite white, he was not really colored because colored people are people that come from colored parents and he was just colored because his mom was black and his father was white. Um, he 
would always identify as black because he was raised by his black mother, his black grandfather with this with his black cousins. Um, so he grew up black and he identified that way, but physically he was not. So he was talking about how race could be seen and perceived from many perspectives, like how much does your physical appearance dictate your race. And it also speaks about languages how he had to learn all this wide range of languages. South Africa is very, very rich with ethnicities, with different African ethnicities and African languages. And his mom was Kdoza, which is a uh, African tribe. And he grew up learning her language, English, many other languages. And um, yeah, so it's an exploration of race growing up in South Africa. It's also just telling this super fun nice anecdotes going to church with his mom talking about christianity this imposed christianity in um, african people and how they they would still hold their popular beliefs and folkloric religion into their heart even though they were christian and then he talks about how magic was such a fundamental uh, part of society and he, how it was embedded in the actual legal system so how you could take someone to court if you think that you've been subject to some dark spells from them and it was really funny learning about these things he also talks a lot about coming out of age um, hanging out with specific people, going to school, discovering what you want to do, all of that in a country that was in this apartheid, then moving into democracy after the apartheid and after Nelson Mandela was um, freed from prison. And overall, I think this book is also uh, about just some very umbrella topics such as abuse because his mom is gonna end up marrying a guy and they would suffer she would suffer from domestic violence um it's also talking a lot about women empowerment and he's, it's presenting his mom as this very strong independent figure that always provided for her kids and herself by herself without the help of any man even though she was married she was the uh, financial provider of the family she was a very strong pious religious a strongly ethical woman and i think that this book overall is also this sort of love letter and appreciation letter to his mom he talks about her throughout the entire book how they had this really amazing close relationship and uh, we see them growing up together um, until eventually they fall into this abuse loop and um, this abusive partner that would cause her some harm toward the end and they would have some serious consequences he learns a lot about his mom he really appreciates her you can see that and what I love the most is how everything comes together so perfectly in this book you can hear his comic tone and you can feel his comedy comedian self into his writing he is a great writer it's his first book and let me tell you that the writing is amazing it's so it's really illuminating in so many ways and you can feel he's uh, very sarcastic and funny funny tone even when it had like when it was discussing serious issues um, this book has everything it's a perfect recipe for success from funny to sarcasm to genuine human uh, storytelling a childhood coming out of age talking about political climate in South Africa, uh, about the different ethnic group, uh, the origin of the culture, the religion, magical beliefs, everything, everything you need to learn about this South Africa. You can learn from this book. He did an amazing job and it's an amazing tribute to his mother and to his country. It's, it's a well done, well executed. 5 out of 5. I would highly, highly recommend you guys pick this up if you're looking for a non-fiction. Um, I loved it and I learned so much. Like when I closed this book, I was like, oh man, I learned so much reading this and I just love that. This is how I love my non-fiction. I learn a lot, but at the same time, I am taken by beautiful, heartfelt, emotional human stories. So it's human telling their stories which is something I absolutely adore 
so I would highly recommend this guys go pick up your copy I was told that the audiobook of this book is actually great because he is narrating the audiobook and I really regret not listening to the audiobook because I don't do audiobooks at all it's not something I I, I do I've never listened to an audiobook but if he was the guy narrating the book I could totally see why people would do the audiobook because he just I he's someone very likable through words so I can only imagine through audiobook and he's someone you just want to befriend uh, <laughs> I know that I'm not gonna befriend him but it's just like as you read him you just want to become this person friend so yeah this is it was an amazing journey reading this book I'm very happy I picked it up but just you know give chances to books guys give chances to your books let me know in the comments down below if you've read the book if you know Trevor Noah because I feel like I've been living under a rock for the past years but I think that that's what books are for you know you learn things you know about things you know about people you learn about stories so yeah let me know if you read it and what do you think of Trevor Noah in general and yeah thank you so much guys for all the love on my last video uh, my question vlog which if you haven't watched I will leave the link at the end of the video so you can go and watch it and I hope you guys are enjoying your summer whether you're studying or working or with family I just hope you enjoy it anyways and I will talk to you guys and see you next week bye